In this video, I'm showing you how to download Luna Client and how to install it and use it as well. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. And do make sure you watch this video right until the end as well, as I'm showing you everything you need to know. Now, just a few points as well. One of the best things about Luna Client is that it's got Optifine built in. And also another thing is you need to actually own Minecraft. Because in the Luna Client, you will go and log into your Minecraft account before you can go and access Minecraft. So you already have to have paid for it. So this is therefore completely legal um, and completely fine to go and do. So without any further ado, let's go and jump straight into this guide. So the first thing you want to do is go and open up a browser. I'm personally using Google Chrome and the Google search engine. So once you're on a search engine, all you want to do is simply go and search for Luna Client, just like so. It's Luna with an R as well. So go and click Luna Client, and then what you want to do is make sure you come to the official website, which is currently lunaclient.com. Then go and click here. It's currently got the winter theme, but this will probably be a little different when you go and check this out. Then all you want to do is go to the top right and go and click on download. And it's going to take you to the download page. As you can see, this works on Windows, Mac OS and Linux as well, which is super cool. So make sure you go and identify the right OS for you and then go and click on download. Then it's going to go and drop the download down here. Then all you want to do is go and click on the X just in here in the bottom left. And then what you need to do is make sure you go and agree with this agreement. Then once you do, go and click I agree. And then it's going to go and start downloading the packages and basically downloading the installer. So let's go and close off our search browser and just wait for this to go and finish downloading. The download just finished and it did disappear. So you'll have to wait a few seconds and then it's going to go and actually bring up the actual launcher. It's still got the winter theme, which will probably be different when you check this out. But the first thing you want to do is simply go and click on settings and you can go and change these to what you'd like. Then if we come up to the launch button, you can come over to the right of it and you can go and change the launching options. So as you can see, you can go and launch many different options, including 1.18 and down to 1.7. So for now, I'm just gonna go and do 1.18. So click here and I'm gonna click select version and then I'm gonna go and click on launch and it's now authenticating and downloading and we'll continue to go and do this. Then once it's finished downloading, you gotta go and get the Luna client then pop up and it's now starting Minecraft as you can see. So I've just made it full screen and in a moment, I'm gonna go and make the GUI a bit smaller as currently it's really big. But before we go and actually sign in, if I try and go and click on single player, it's gonna make us log into Microsoft because to use Luna Client, you do need to have paid for Minecraft. So let's go and click in the top left and where it says invalid session, go and click on the plus and then we can go and log in. So as you can see, you need to enter your Mojang email or username and then your Mojang password. So I'm gonna go and enter mine now. So I just logged in and if I go and click in the top left, as you can see, it says logged in as tutorial Tucker. So if you go and click on this Minecraft settings cog in the bottom row, we can then go and just change all our normal Minecraft settings. So I'm gonna go and click on video settings and then go and change GUI uh, just to like two or three probably. Boom, there we go. And as you can see, everything is now a lot more to scale as it should be. So then simply go and click on single player or multiplayer depending on what you want to do. And I'm gonna go and show you some of the awesome functions Luna Client has. So as you can see, I've just loaded in and the first thing I can already notice is at the top, you can go and see a compass. And then over here as well, is showing you your sort of coordinates. So to go and get into the main settings, you want to go and click on the right hand shift on your keyboard to so the shift on the right hand side of it. So click there and boom, then we're gonna go and get a few options. So here we've got uh, Luna Remote, we've got Mods, and then we've got Luna Cosmetics. So let's go and jump straight into Mods, so click here. And as you can see, we then have all of these different options. We can go and toggle um, and literally go and change. We can disable chat. Um, we can go and change motion blur. So many different awesome functions we can go and use. And of course, you can go and check out yourself as well. One awesome function is to be able to go and view your FPS as well. So go and click on disabled and then it's gonna go enable it. And as you can see in the top right, it's gonna go and show you your FPS. But there we go, guys. This is today's video. If you found it useful, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Channel. Leave a like for more. I look forward to catch you in the next one. Peace.